The single most best investment I've ever made in my music to this day, which I talk about in this book, is hiring a great producer. That's why I dedicated chapter 7 to working with a producer. My name's Chris, also known as Manifest from Smart Music Business. I love helping artists. I have about 700,000 monthly listeners on Spotify, hoping to hit a million this year. And I released a new book, so I wanted to share it with you. You can get it on Amazon, get the audio, ebook, get the soft cover sent to you. But I talk about how to find a producer. <clears throat> and one of the best friends is Google, going to Bandcamp, going to iTunes, Spotify, looking up artists, looking up music that you like, right? Because I don't know if you're like me, but you, you tend to listen to music that you make, like the style of music you make. Well, find artists, and they don't have to be super famous. They could be maybe a little lower grade that have made great sounding music. Maybe they're great pop records, rock records, country records. Find out who produced it. Find out who was the one who really made the songs great. All right, who really organized it and got them mixed and sounding like real records, all right? I remember when I first started just working with recording and making songs with one person, and I noticed that all they really did was hit record. And, you know, and some guys would, you know, challenge me a little bit more on the songs. And then I started to work with guys that really helped me shape the whole song and rewrite the verses and challenge me on stuff and make the record sound incredible, make my songwriting sound incredible. When I'm in the vocal booth, challenge me to sing different parts, different ways, and do different things that I'd never done before. And I ended up getting hit songs. And then I noticed a big difference when I would perform live, the hit songs compared to the so-so songs. The hit songs are the ones that had people freaking out at the show. I could see we're just vibing to way more. So I was like, okay, that's the closer. Are those I need I need more songs like that. And I ended up selling more records when I did that. And so I really talk about how to find a great producer. Um, I talk about here to check the small print. Once you get a response from a producer who agrees to work with you on your song, you want to be clear on what the terms of the contract are. All right, I talked about that in the book because. You know, I'm so thankful. I've worked with really great people. Nobody's ever screwed me before. Nobody's held my masters or taken advantage of me. And that's because I just surrounded myself with good people. Always paid on time, paid early, um, was professional. And then I'll go so far. But you always want to be clear. And you never pay the whole thing until the song's done. 50% deposit is normal, okay? I talk about why I don't memorize lyrics before a studio session anymore. And that's because, um, and that's right here talk about that that's because you know it's going to change one time I, I had all these verses and a chorus already and we knew we were going to work on it but then we got the track going and it was like oh those verses don't fit anymore so we had to change something let me know if that's ever happened to you post it in the comment below i talk about recording day what to expect all right if this is your first second third time what to expect how to prepare you know i talk about in the vocal booth Okay, and pro tips about, you know, and how to kind of be your virtual coach and to turn off your freaking phone, first of all, okay, and be all engaged in there so you can give the best performance you possibly can and tap into that emotion and don't waste your time, don't waste your money, don't waste the producer's time and don't waste his money, all right? I talk about the edit in the rough mix in the process of getting it back. How to respond properly when you want changes done on the edit or the mix, all right? And let me just say this, like, when you want a change done, um, you know, there shouldn't be any problems with that with the producer, you know? And sometimes I'll get a track back from a producer, depending on how epic they are, um, with maybe one or two changes, and sometimes there's a lot of changes. And sometimes it's my fault too. It's like, oh, we need to rewrite that. I could do that better. I got to rewrite the verse or something in the mix or make it make it different changes to make it pop. But I remember one song we had to go back and forth a few times with this one producer and he was just so cool about it. If they're going to get their, you know, knickers in a twist, their panties in a knot about a few changes, but like, don't be unrealistic though with a thousand different changes just so your voice can be heard, right? Don't get in a fight or an argument about it. Like, know what hills to die on and which ones to let go, right? Sometimes if a producer was a guitarist or a drummer or a vocalist, you know, 
d d whatever instrument they played, that tends to be a little hotter in the track sometimes. And so sometimes they're like, hey, yeah, of course the drummer wants the, the drums hot or the guitarist wants the guitars hot, right? That's just the way it goes. I talk about what to do from getting it mastered and then finally, of course, getting a release date. So many important things on releasing a song, but most importantly, communication. You know, and, and, and treating people with respect so they want to work with you again and just making sure that the, 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 it's a great experience, right? Because you could have a door open to you and you work with an amazing producer, but then you screwed it up because you're a bit of a jerk. You weren't on time or you were being ridiculous with things and, and just like mix after mix after mix and just, just being a pain and then they don't want to work with you anymore. Okay, so I hope that's helped you. I want to remind you that a fighter isn't someone ever fails. Let me know what has helped you most in this video. And if you've got any crazy stories, I want to hear about them. Again, get a copy of this book if you don't got it yet, how to write and release your first song. We got it to a number one bestseller, which I'm so thankful for, for you guys supporting this channel and uh, supporting what we're doing here and just trying to help you as indie artists get your music out there.